Welcome to episode 11 Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down the Love is Blind Season 7, ladies. If you missed last night's episode where I broke down the men, you can check it out right here on the YouTube channel. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do. Right before the season starts, I go through the cast and I just check out their bios, what they're about, take a look at them, and predict who I think potentially could get engaged. Um, folks, before we dive in, thank you guys so much for the continued support of the Love and Reality Podcast. Right now, we've got plenty, plenty of things booming on this side of the world. You got um, Love is Blind right around the corner. Survivor just started back up. Dancing with the Stars back up. All of these shows are coming in hot and uh, very little time to catch up on all of them. But without further ado, you don't want to hear from me. Let's talk about the ladies of Love is Blind Season 7. All right. The women, oh, sorry, the women, my apologies, the women of Love is Blind. First up, okay, okay, a cute little white, yellow dress, yellow shoes, I'm digging it. 33, Alexandra, 33, producer, Leo. Sure, Alexandra would love a diamond on her finger, but she's already got some precious metal of her own. My heart is made of gold, okay? I can get along with literally everyone and I'm easy to really talk to. Unfortunately, her exes haven't quite exactly handled her heart with care as both of her long-term relationships, longest relationships have ended with quite a bit of traumatics. One ex wasn't upfront about his sexual orientation. The other one was unfaithful. In the past, I've been attracted to see to what was good for me and didn't have any boundaries. Ultimately, I dated people who didn't care about my well-being. But Alexander isn't giving up on love, especially if he is tall and fine. Gentleman who leads with compassion and confidence comes in the picture. All right. A little feisty. She looks, she looks feisty. I like the, I don't understand. Again, I don't got no style here, but the little uncovering of the shoulder. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like her already. Who's this? Like this little pink dress, a little alley master esthet esthetician. All right. Well, I don't know what that means, but we'll, we'll go with it. I like it. I like the dress. I like that pink, though. All right. Ali is attracted to the tall teddy bear man with a southern charm, but somehow ends up with dating shorty, short bald men. Damn, they're picking on Izzy already. Uh, so she's been giving up her usual type, but no matter what guy looks, what, what the guy looks like, he'll go far with Ali, Ali if he leads with empathy and his communication skills are on point. After letting too far, too, after letting far too many situationships run past their expiration date, this beauty and skincare expert isn't clogging up on her feed with any more men who aren't willing to commit. I've yet to find the one because I've settled for less than I know I deserve now. Than I know I deserve now. Ali is proud to come from an extremely diverse family, so she's attracted to guys who are all about cultural exploration and who enjoy eating different types of food. And oh, if she could find a fellow Potterhead to spend the rest of her days with, that would be nice. Wait a minute. Oh, that wasn't a Harry Potter guy. That was the Lord of the Rings guy. I was like, man, I thought we had a match for Allie right away. Ooh. Tell you guys, you've seen this before. You've watched my show. And you've watched these cast breakdowns. I'm telling you. The hand on the hill. It's a thing. It's a little feisty, okay? I feel like she's a little feisty, but there's so much confidence in standing with the hand on the hill. I love it. It's the type of thing I love. All right, Ashley A, 32, marketing director Aquarius. Me too, dog. Ashley is a true ride or die for the people in her life, and she's just looking for a man to do the same. I haven't found someone who protects my heart the way they protect their own. In past relationships, honesty and communications have been in short supply, leading Ashley to go through one of her former partner's phone, but now she's done playing games with love and wants to open her heart for a faith-driven guy who appreciates both her stealthy sense of humor and quiets her anxieties. The key to, key to my heart is being soft, is being able to be soft with a man who I can trust with my heart. And if he would, wouldn't mind joining her on a home goods run from time to time, that just might seal the deal. I see you. I see you, Ashley A. I see you. Man, another move. Ooh. Ooh, this one right here, Ashley W. Yeah. It looks like a little, it's like a little, uh, uh, like a possessed kind of like, I got you. I'm like, I got my eye on you. You know what I mean? Nothing bad, but it's just like, yeah. Yeah. She knows I, I'm, she knows like, I'm a bad bitch. I know it. Like you see in her face. Ooh. 32 health and wellness educator, cancer. Actually has two sides of her life. The really girly girl 
who loves glamming it up and uh, and her inner tomboy. I like to get down and dirty and play lots of sports. You might think I'm prissy, but I'm very adventurous. This dedicated middle school teacher is searching for an athletic, compassionate, and well-groomed partner to accept every part of her. And if he can pay the bills, even better. In the past relationship, as she footed all the expenses. He didn't have a car, a place to stay, or a good job, so I pretty, provided pretty much everything. But I was okay with it because I loved him. After the journey of self-acceptance during COVID-19, as she's finally embraced her confidence and raised her standards, it took me a long time to find my worth and be at peace on my own. I mean, fantastic. Ashley W. Seems, she's like, I'm, she seems like a winner. I mean, how she ain't found one in the real world? That blows my mind, guys. Y'all be fumbling the bag over here. Ashley, Ashley W. seems like a winner. All right. Oh, another hand on the hip. A little foot up. A little smile. I don't know if that smile looks a little forced a little bit. Sorry, Brittany. Esthetician. That's right. You're not saying that right. Somebody's going to somebody's gonna comment. Like, you're an idiot. You didn't say that right. But this is our second esthetician on the crew here. 33-year-old cancer. Brittany regularly collects garbage with her Baltimore-based cleanup organization. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's... 10,000 pounds so far. Congratulations. So let's just say she has little to no patience for dating trash men. Instead, the esthetician and environmentalist is drawn to guys who are adventurous as she is, which has even led her to a date a rock star. I've had a crazy, crazy life. My exes would describe me as a wild card because my interests change all the time. Brittany has a preference for dating older men, especially if they happen to look like a blonde Viking with long, long hair. But most importantly, Brittany is seeking a real commitment with a future-oriented partner who appreciates jet setting and stability in equal measures. I don't know. We didn't have any long-haired guys in here, so you might be on the wrong show there, Brittany. But I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know about her. I don't know about her. We'll come back. What do we got here? Dylan. Okay, Dylan. Another hand on the hip. I like the brown dress. Those shoes. She seems tall. I wonder if she's tall. Maybe they all just look like that in these pictures. Realtor and artist. Aries. Oh, we had an artist on the other side. The art dealer, Leo. Maybe these two will get along. The key to Dylan's heart is to un only not only understand her weirdness, but embrace it. I'm that crazy, fun friend who people bring around to have a good time and do something out of their element. This multifaceted hustler is all, all about her business as, they, as a Baltimore-based real estate agent but always makes time to tap into her artistic side, be it painting, woodworking, building furniture, whatever create, per, creative pursuit she can channel her energy. After years of dating chaos, Dylan has said she needed to take a beat and take a step back, tap back into her inner peace. I've spent time with people I loved, then I forgot to love myself. Dylan hopes to meet someone that is motivated and a goofy guy with whom she can go the distance. And if, she, if he can teach her how to finally ride a bike, it might just be the perfect match. Somebody teach this girl to damn ride a bike already. Ooh, we got a little style, style queen up in here. Look at that little feistiness. Nice little smile. Nice. Oh, I love the boots. A little green. Yeah. Hi, Hannah. We're putting her in already. And she's an Aquarius. Oh, yeah. All right. 27 year old Hannah. Medical device sales Aquarius, depending on who you ask. Hannah's lack of filter. Is either a blessing or a curse. Uh, let's see here. She wants to. I really have that. I really have a kind heart. After three years of being single, the self-proclaimed country girl is ready to kick her dating life into high gear and finally let someone else take control. I can't find the love of my life from the comfort of my couch. She says she's hoping to make a soul connection with an ambitious man who will match her communication style and become a dog dad to her fur baby Luna. Plus, her West Virginia draw is sure to make an impression on the guys on the other side of the polls. Pods, not polls, pods. Yeah, I like Anna. I like her skirt. I like the I like the color of that shirt, man. I love that green color, and the boots. The boots, yeah, that's a that's a seal of, ice on the cake right there, right? So somebody get Hannah engaged. All right, who do we have here? Katie, thirty six years old. All right, cute little smile. Kind of looks a little forced. No offense, but uh, yeah, I like the little red dress. Shoes, Katie, 36, sports marketing manager. Okay, Taurus. Katie worries that some may hold preconceived notions about why she's 35 and single. People assume that I'm crazy, but I'm actually the opposite. I mean, if the shoe fits, you got to wear it sometimes. I'm way too cool and let everybody get away with everything. The former college lacrosse player says she wasted too much time with the wrong ones, as she has a history of chasing emotionally unavailable men. 
and trying to turn them into ideal partner. Working in the world of sports hasn't helped either. She says some of the, as say some believe she comes off as cold or emasculating, though nothing could be further from the truth. I'm a big love bug. I want an alpha man, someone to say, that's my girl, and I pick her up. I've never had anybody choose me. And if Katie is not, does meet the love of her life in the posh, she'll shout it from the rooftops again and again, as her worst habit is being repetitive. I'll tell the same story over and over again. Oof. Yeah, I don't know about you. Oh, locked in number two. Look at her. Oh, my God. That is, yes. What's your name? Marissa. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman right there. Somebody's got to lock that down. 32-year-old lawyer. Oh, lawyer, too? Man, could you imagine walking in the courtroom? You see her. She ready to give you the business. You know what I mean? That means, oh, she's a lawyer. Man, arguments could be interesting with her for sure. But man, she got a beautiful smile. I love the dress. I love the shoes. The way she's prompted up there. Arius, by by joining Love is Blind, Marissa is hoping to tug on the invisible string she believes connects her with her future husband. We are still on our individual journeys, but hopefully he's here. While spending seven years in the Navy, oh, another person in the military, didn't exactly work wonders for her dating life. Marissa has no regrets about her military service. The experience is the thing that I'm most proud of. Since then, her recent recent law school graduate had prioritized her studies over just about everything else. And now she's looking to start a new chapter, hopefully with an intellectual, intellectual, intelligent, and empathetic partner who doesn't mind her habit of burping out loud. Yeah, hell yeah, I do the same thing. I don't mind it at all. Keep burping. In the past, Marissa says guys have tended to realize too late that they were in not ready for a relationship. Men fall in love with my looks and charms, but don't take the time to get to know me. Yeah, I mean, I can tell why they fall in love with you, girl. You're beautiful. All right. What do we got here? Um, I'm locking her in. We've already decided. There's not even a question asked about it. We're locked in 100%. Marissa, you are in my engagement couple bracket here. Is that everything? It is everything. Oh, look at this little sparkly. Ah, man, that's a fucking cool ass dress. Love the color. Oh, man. Oh, she got the double hand on the hips. You know she's trouble, right? I told you this before. Double hand, you're in trouble automatically. Monica, 37, sales executive, Gemini. Scroll through Monica's Instagram. You'll see you'll assume she's a complete extrovert who is always at music festivals or on the dance floor. I have a big personality and I tend to be the life of the party, but I'm also incredibly sensitive. Deep down, all Monica wants is a man of her dreams and start a family. But her love life hasn't exactly gone smoothly in recent years. The craziest thing that I've ever done for love is forgive a cheater. Oof, oof. That's why finding someone who makes her feel emotionally safe is her top priority moving forward. As she has a big example to set as a role mo- uh, as a role model for her four younger sisters, they're my best friends. I'm just really proud to be leading our pact. Yeah, I like you, Monica. You're pretty dope. Well, we might put you in there. Oh, oh, I like that smile, Morgan. Sales team, Aries. Okay. There are a few things former pageant queen Morgan wishes people knew about her. I'm smarter than I look, and I'm also extremely kind, open, and honest. The superficiality of the modern dating and swiping away on the apps has left Morgan exhausted, as most guys these days can't match her emotional depth. Men aren't willing to do the emotional labor to appreciate what I've brought, uh, have bring to the to a relationship. I won't settle when my life is fulfilling at this stage. Her one piece of advice for the opposite sex: go to therapy. She says Morgan is done accepting the bare minimum in relationships. Men, even the tall and nerdy ones, she typically goes for, who aren't ready to be. Genuine partners on, on every level won't get past the first date with Morgan. Damn, she seems like she knows what she wants. Ain't matter, ain't no matter with that. Oh, hi, Nina. Who's on the trash? Let's see some flowers. Ooh, the high black boots. Okay. Okay. Hi, Nina. I see you, journalist Libra. Want to be Nina's lover? Maybe. Well, then you got to get with her friends and family, including her younger sister, Tara, who's always entering who is also entering the experiment. Oh, if someone doesn't fit in seamlessly with them, then it's not going to work. That's it. For the past year, Nina has been healing from a heartbroken after ending a nine-year relationship with her ex-fiance. I'm, mo- I'm more, most proud of the way that I handled that breakup. I've done a lot of work on myself and I'm killing it in every aspect. I feel amazing. Now, that's Nina's officially entered what she calls the YOLO error. She's ready to embrace love is blind, has to offer if she can if she can push past her pickiness, but the but for Nina, what matters the most now 
Dating lies in the details. I want someone that remembers the little things that I like or I don't like and consider my feelings. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like her too. I like her a lot. All right. Uh, was it? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to move to Tara. Tara. Is that her sister, right? She said sister. Sister Tara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. All right. 29 senior marketing manager, Virgo. Take him a leap, taking a leap of faith to find love isn't exactly new territory for Tara, who's joining her sister Nina in the pods. From getting asked out by her server during a meal to almost moving to Germany for her ex-boyfriend, this social butterfly is open to all connections, no matter where they come from. Her dating experience, however, hasn't exactly gone, given her the confidence in men. My past relationships have always been with someone who's insecure with themselves and not in the right place at the right time, like right in the right place in their life. Plus, she's never seen seems to be on the same page with men about communication. I'm always open to the conversation, no matter how hard. But my worst habit is needing to have the last word. Lately, however, Tara, Tara describes her dating life as a bit bland, so she's looking to spice it up by letting love is blind work its magic. Okay, okay. Oh, Taylor, hell, I mean, I just love these outfits, man. Look how cool that looks. You know what I mean? She just looks, yeah, that little skin. She's got the little dimples going on, too, with that smile. Hands on both hips. You know she means business. 30-year-old clean energy policy consultant, and she's a Pisces. As a scientist working in clean energy, Taylor is more than familiar with the experiment, but she's never encountered one quite like love is blind. For the past few years, Taylor has been prioritizing almost everything in her life over dating, focusing on building herself up first before entering into a serious relationship. But she's always longed for a relationship like the one her parents have. They've been married for 35 years and showcase how to be great parents. Now, Taylor is ready to convert her love of me to we time for a kind, intellectual, curious, and emotionally intelligent guy. While she tends to go for tall men with athletic build, it what's what inside that matters. The key to my heart is loving me for my mind. Yeah. Yep. Add her to the list, guys. Taylor's on the list. We like Taylor. All right. Who we have it. This is the last person? Jenny. I'm still Jenny from the block. All right. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, I like these outfits, man. The outfits are bombing out here. All right. Uh, they're proper good. Accounting training coordinator, cancer, bubbly, energetic Jenny is at the end of her rope with the useless, dis dis disappointing dating scene in D.C. This is my last and final shot I'm going to have to move after this. <laughs> All she's ever wanted is to find a nurturing, supportive partner who can re reconsider. Oh, who can reciprocate her energy. Men should put themselves in our shoes and see and feel how vulnerable it is to date. Women put a lot of effort, a lot more effort into it and men forget that it counts. But Jenny doesn't want to date just anyone. She wants to find the one. Even if she's taking even if he's taking this time, sweet time, and if the effortless swag or sexiness to them, even if they are nerdy. She, Jeff Jenny will definitely want a second date. I'm taking the time to find another love of my life and I want it to last forever. Okay? All right, so for the girls, who do we agree on so far? We had, yeah, Alexandra's one. We got Alexandra. Um, Ashley W for sure. Hannah locked it in. Locked in Hannah. Oh, Marissa, she's number one. And I'm going to go for my fifth one. Who's my fifth one? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Taylor. Boom. There's my five. There is my five. All right, folks, that is it for this episode of the Love in Reality podcast. I really, really hope that you are excited as I am about Love is Blind. Make sure if you missed the episode where I talked about the men, just hit it right here on the YouTube channel. You'll find it there. Like, comment, subscribe who you want to see into the next phase of Love is Blind. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys later.